Today on my attempts, removing a septic blockage. Our septic pumps uphill from the house, all the way down there. To the distribution box, all the way up here. From there, it flows into four pipes that feed into the leach field chambers over here. The third pipe from the right is slow to drain and will backflow into the distribution box. There's not supposed to be any water in here, but when the level gets high enough, it drains into the three other pipes. The septic system is almost 11 years old, and after doing some research, I thought it might just be plugged up with bacterial biomat. So I picked up this sewer rod from Craigslist, hoping I could push the clog out of the pipe. At about 6 feet in, there's a 45 degree fitting and the pipe turns to the left, but it all looks clear up to that point. I couldn't insert the sewer rod flat because I needed it to bend to the left, so it had to be inserted vertical. It would only go in so far in this orientation because the bottom of the rod would bind up on the concrete box while the top of the rod would bind up on the top of the pipe. Plan B. I rented a drain cleaner. There's no electric up here, so I had to bring the generator. The drain cleaner came with a few different bits, and I assumed this cutter tip would be my best bet. I think I've hit the blockage. I can't get the cable to go any further. It felt like the cutter tip wasn't doing much, so I switched to the Spiral Bob auger bit. That's when I realized roots were my problem. So even if I had been able to get that sewer rod further into the pipe, it wouldn't have done any good. Just for the record, I did not want to do this job. I called many septic and drain cleaning companies. The drain cleaning services wouldn't hydrojet or use a drain auger on a leach field and the septic services just wanted to dig it up for thousands of dollars. I spent the next couple of hours driving the bit into the roots, backing it out, and cleaning out the bit each time. It took so long because I was only getting small amounts of root material. That is, until I fished out this whopper. I continued working through all the available bits to be sure I got everything I could, and this is what I ended up with. This bit caught the end of the small 1 inch pipe and busted the whole thing off, but I was able to glue it back on. In case I missed anything, I figured I'd try some foaming root killer. I closed the valve to prevent the foam from going downhill into the septic tank. There are pieces of paper towel in the bottle to remove moisture and prevent caking. This stuff isn't cheap, but if it works, I'd happily pour some in here once a year to keep from having to do this job again. Now when the pump kicks on, no more backflow. 
I'm back up here a couple months later, and this is what the distribution box should look like. No water. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.